Welcome to Focus on Faith, the program that brings you portraits of faith from across the nation. Join us as we bring you the faith of men and women from all walks of life who truly represent the spirit of America as we focus on faith. Hi, I'm Gordon Anderson, and welcome to Telemissions International's Focus on Faith series, a worldwide fellowship of Christians in action. Today's featured Christian in action is Dr. James Gills. He will be sharing his personal portrait of faith in this candid, unrehearsed, on-location interview. Dr. James Gills shares his life's testimony of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. But now just before we go to the interview, let me share with you a little bit of background of our unique guest, Dr. Gills, which I'm sure is going to shock you. Now, here we go. Dr. Gills received his medical degree from Duke University's Medical Center in 1959. He served his ophthalmology residency at Wilmar Ophthalmological Institute of Johns Hopkins University from 1962 to 1965. Now, Dr. Gills founded the St. Luke's Cataract and Laser Institute in Tarpon Springs, Florida, and has performed more cataract and lens implant surgeries than any other eye surgeon in the world. Think of that. Since establishing his Florida practice in 1968, he's been firmly committed to embracing new technology and perfecting the latest cataract surgery techniques. And in 1974, he became the first eye surgeon in the U.S. to dedicate his practice to cataract treatment through the use of interocular lenses. Dr. Gills has been recognized in Florida and throughout the world for his professional accomplishments and personal commitment to helping others. He was also recognized by the readers of Cataract and Refractive Surgery Today as one of the top 50 cataract and re refractive opinion leaders. Now, Dr. Gills is not only known for his skills as a doctor, but his skills in business as president of a variety of companies, including the World Triathlon Corporation called Ironman. He has received the 1990 Entrepreneur of the Year Award from the state of Florida and in 2000, the Florida Enterprise Medal by the Florida Merchants Association. Now, also in 2000, the Free Enterprise of the Year Award from the Florida Council of Economic Education, the Tampa Bay Ethics Award, and an appointment to the Florida Sports Foundation Board of Directors. He is an avid athlete and has competed in 46 marathons, 30 triathlons, five Ironman races, six double Ironmans, and four 200-mile races. Oh, wow. And in addition, Dr. Gills has published over 190 medical articles and authored or co-authored 14 books on ophthalmology he has also written 18 books on Christian living with over 6 million in print. Dr. Gill's philanthropic work in over 70 ministries and organizations led to him being awarded the Duke University 2005 Humanitarian Award and the 2002 William Carey Award for Extraordinary Leadership and Service in World Missions, presented by Trinity College. Now, the St. Luke's Eye Institute is located in beautiful Tarpon Springs, Florida. This is where the Focus on Faith crew caught up with Dr. Gills as he volunteered to share his personal testimony during his busy afternoon. This visit went late into the evening, and we even got some fun cutaways of Dr. Gills jogging through this huge institute with his dog. Now, I personally was privileged to be the one behind the camera recording his testimony, and Dr. Gill's interview went wonderful, as, as you'll see coming up, and was taped in the 80s, and since that time, literally multitudes of people, young and old, have seen his timeless testimony of faith uh, through public service programming and cable networks, 
And now Dr. Gill's testimony will continue radiating the light of his love of Jesus Christ through Telemissions International's Life's Lighthouse program that will be shining the light into a dark world on the shores of cyberspace along with many, many more personal and timeless testimonies captured over the years that will continually be bringing the good news for decades to come through our new Life's Lighthouse program. So come on and join us as we learn what Dr. James Gill's Focus on Faith is all about to help us in our daily lives through his personal spiritual insights in this classic and timeless testimony now, think of it, friends, beaming out as a beacon of light, bringing the faith and hope to a hurting world. Focus on faith. If you were in Florida, driving north on Route 19, you'd eventually come to the impressive St. Luke's Cataract and Intraocular Lens Institute. People from across the country come here for help to see well again. They come to see this man, Dr. James P. Gills, eye surgeon. As founder director, he's the man responsible for the warm spirit of kindness you'll find throughout St. Luke's. To quote Dr. Gills, our goal at St. Luke's is to make patients see as well as humanly possible. And when his patients are thrilled with his surgical handiwork, Dr. Gills knows the miracle. I'll have five or ten what I call little miracles every day that people that haven't seen for long periods of time or I've corrected people that ha have had to wear heavy glasses so they don't have to wear any glasses and been able to do this. And it's really been a great pleasure to be able to do it. I go back to one man, though, that's particularly important to me, I remember that uh, had had only one eye and he'd lost the other eye in surgery and he waited about 20 years for, before he had anybody do it and had been, could only see light for about five years. And then we, was one of the first implants I'd done uh, probably 17 years ago. And, uh, but he definitely wanted an implant after all this fear, so he did it and he got about 20-20 vision with a minimal myopic correction and he did well afterwards and I think he referred me half of his hometown to, to see me. Dr. Gills is a top eye surgeon and he's well known worldwide for the advances he has accomplished in the removal of cataracts and lens implants. Cataract surgery is now performed with little or no discomfort due largely to Dr. Gill's technical contributions. The new technical advances in ophthalmology have been fantastic and largely they've been done through clinics such as ours and people such as Charlie Kelman and many people who have been a little bit more of an entrepreneur than uh, the staid accountant mentality. And th these people have changed American ophthalmology from a very staid uh, business to a outstanding business that can really do a lot for the people. This has caused opposition from many people who haven't wanted to move as fast, but the field has moved fast and has given a great rehabilitation to patients. Nowadays we can go through a very small incision, give a person a cataract extraction lens implant, and they can be rehabilitated in a matter of days when it used to be months before. Fear is probably the worst disease we have. It ends up in worry and worry and fear, that cycle. Destroys, destroys more of our patients that we see than any disease that we happen to have. And relationship between a doctor and a patient is the most important thing. I think the little word of a natural affection, which some people have and some people don't have, and some people maybe have a great deal of, and I think these people should be doctors. And I think it's very important that you really care for your patients, a great deal of true, natural, God-given affection be shown between the people as you care for your patients. It was evident that God had indeed blessed this man with a natural affection for his patients. So we asked him about his personal focus on faith. About the time I was 32, I began having a lot of professional uh, pressures. Business, colleagues, a lot of things, just all of them on me. And so I started getting back in the Word, and I got in several, two and three hours a day. 
But it started coming back and started coming back and I started being able to rest more and more in Him and finding out that that was where peace was. Finding out that that's where I needed to be and it wasn't easy. And there were a lot of tears, a lot of sad times. There wasn't any sudden joy and sudden walking down an aisle and it was all over with. But it was a lot of ups and downs and growing and letting myself grow closer to Him. And every time I turned away from him, it seemed like I'd have another hard time that would bring me back to him. And it, almost as if it was made to be hard to bring me back to him, so I'd have to depend on him. Found out I couldn't depend on anybody else, and I just had to depend on him. Things started, about then I got interested a lot in sports, so I kinda, the two kind of grew together for me. And I started getting better in sports and closer to the Lord. and. The, started praying a lot with sports. And then it was the hard times that would come and go that made me really come to the Lord more and more, realizing that there's nothing else I can abide in besides Him, nothing else I can remain in besides Him. And it comes to that verse in John 15, 7, Abide in me, and if my words abide in you, ask what you will, and it shall be done for you. And that's to me one of the key verses that we must all do. When the wind blows, we must hold on to the trunk of Jesus Christ and let our fruits be just the Spirit of Jesus going through us. Just hold on to Him, whatever happens. And that's really my story, because as the wind is blown, I've just held on tighter. And accept Him, praying and reading the Bible, and not depending on our own strength to do His work, but depending on His strength to work through us. And just come to Him in faith, wanting only to be with Him. Not trying to muscle the Lord's work, but listen and let Him work through you. I think the biggest thing to say to the American people is don't be strong in yourself. Be dependent upon Jesus. With a schedule that begins at 4 a.m. and doesn't end till 8 or 9 in the evening, Dr. and Mrs. Gills are a couple who have learned to apply commitment and humor to their marriage. That was a sign that my wife was truly getting committed and was showing it because she would get up at 4 o'clock and she detests getting up in the morning. And she would get up in the morning and she would come riding along as I would run and she would ride along and she'd have little verses uh, sketched out and she would have something to pray about. We'd pray about our children, and then we'd pray about ourselves. Then we started praying about everything through each other, and it got to be a time of commitment when we don't get to see much of each other, and it was really impressed that she did this. We caught up with Mrs. Heather Gills in St. Luke's bookstore and asked if she's able to keep her life in perspective, and how does she start her busy day? And hop on my bike and bike for uh, a couple hours with my husband and of course he's running and I'm biking so I get to cheat a little bit. This is the, the only time during the day that we can actually be alone. I mean there are not a whole lot of people up at 445 so we are alone and we get to talk about the important things in life. Living in this society we are in such a frazzed out pace that if we don't have a secret place, we suffer from, I think, burnout. Whether it's burnout um, as a mom or a businesswoman or whatever our role in life is, we have to have a place to go to. There is a secret, and it is in the 91st Psalm. It says, He who dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the, mo of the Almighty God. This doctor has put his life in the hands of the great physician, and God is using Dr. Gill's hands for doing miracles. You're watching Focus on Faith with our guests sharing their timeless testimony. We all know the power of a personal testimony, and this and many more classic testimonies like this will continue bringing light into a dark world for decades to come through Telemissions International's new Life's Lighthouse series of programs. 
This picture of the lighthouse on the stormy seas of the Outer Banks is our hallmark, signifying the importance of Telemission's International reaching out to multitudes for Christ. Just think of it, friend. Every timeless testimony that is being broadcast is like a beacon of light beaming out the good news on the stormy shores of cyberspace for decades to come. Now, in closing, today's timeless testimony, which is a beacon of light, may have impacted someone out there. And God is speaking to you right now, and that person wants to commit their life to follow Christ. Friend, I would encourage you to start by reading your Bible and to begin to practice what the Bible says. And I pray that you will get strong in the desire to go out and find a good Bible teaching church to join. And to not let yourself get distracted, but rather you will make this a priority in your life to seek God's will for a new life in Christ. Now, if you want to know more about having a more abundant and fulfilling life, then this booklet, Beginning with Christ by Navigators International, is a great way to get started. And I want to send this to you absolutely free. Just call 1-800-28-FAITH. That's right. Just call 1-800-28-FAITH. And I will be happy to send this to you free. Just leave your name and address and I will mail it out directly. Or if you prefer, you can simply email us at info at and request this free booklet there. And if you have a specific prayer request, let us know. We will include your request in our daily prayer time. Now in closing, if you would like to know more about Telemissions International and how this unique ministry got started, just visit our website, telemissions.org and learn the story of how these many timeless testimonies were recorded in the early 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and will live on for decades to come. As, and also, you can purchase a copy of Born to Preach by the late Dr. Gordon Anderson, Sr. This book tells the riveting life story of my father's travels, triumphs, and action-packed stories with Alaska wildlife photography and exciting adventures, including on-location interviews with through the decades with doctors, senators, astronauts, and much, much more spanning over his 70 year ministry. This book will captivate and sway the hearts of young and old readers alike. Available on our website, telemissions.org. Check it out. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment on our website and tell your friends about this new and exciting series of programs. Thanks again for joining us today. This is Dr. Gordon Anderson Jr. sharing with you our prayer promise, and that is Psalm 121, verse 2, which says, My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And remember, friend, start every day in prayer. God's richest blessings as you focus your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ.